Have you heard about the FSR2 mod for Cyberpunk 2077 or are just interested in getting more out of your performance on Steam Deck? Well, we have a great little guide here for you on how to get this FSR2 mod installed on Steam Deck. First thing you'll need to do is head over to desktop mode and download the FSR2 mod for Cyberpunk from Nexus Mods. I put the link in the description below. This file is tiny, so the free account will do just fine as it's only 509 kilobytes that you need to download. Once you've downloaded that file, head over to your Steam library and open up the file location for Cyberpunk 2077. So just go to settings, manage and browse local files. You'll want to go into the bin directory here and then the x64 directory. As this is where the cyberpunk2077.exe is located and this is where you need to drop the files. So from here go and open the zip file that you downloaded and extract the files to this folder. Now if you did this like I just did then the bin folder will be in the wrong place so you need to go into the bin64 folder of what you just copied over and make sure that the nvngxdll is in the same level as the cyberpunk2077.exe. If that's not in the same level then this will not work. Next up you will need to run the enable signature override.reg which was also copied over with those files. If like me you didn't have a reg editor available you will need something called Proton Tricks. You can get Proton Tricks from the Discover store on Steam Deck so just download and run this. I had to give it some extra permissions to be able to read the SD card directory. So it does give you the instructions here. So just copy and paste this and run it in console and then restart Proton Tricks. Now I'm still working my way around Proton Tricks, but if you follow this, then it will work. This may not be the best method and somebody who is more savvy with this may be able to give some better pointers, but I ended up creating a new prefix, but I, then I just canceled out of this next dialogue. And it gave me the menu here that I was actually looking for. And you want to select run reg edit from the wine prefix menu. Once you hit that, you'll get a couple of analytics options and then the reg editor will open. So from here, you will need to go into registry and import registry file. Now, no matter what I did, I wasn't able to copy the path or drag the file in here. So you will need to follow the path at the top of the Explorer window so you can go to the right directory and locate and import that enable signature override.reg file. If you don't run this, it does not pick up the change as this overrides the DLSS signature, which is what the FSR2 mod actually uses. It displays as DLSS in game. Once you've done that, just quit out and either start up the game in desktop mode or do what I did and switch. And you'll know this works straight away as DLSS is disabled on Steam Deck because it is a AMD card. But if it's worked, you will now have DLSS options. So you'll now be able to enable quality performance or balanced modes. Now you can enjoy Steam Deck in much higher quality with around the same frame rate as before. Let us know in the comments below if you've dove into this and seen much of a difference. We're going to have a comparison showing the FSR2 mod versus the standard coming up very soon so do look out for that on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.